broadcast live. Yo, we out here with DJ Sabby. What you up, know, dog? In these streets, you yes. know, DJing, dropping, singing, boom, girl, video, boom. I ain't you hear there's any singles. I mean, say singles, videos. Yes. I said single, video. Yes. You know. What's happening, man? Yo, man, I'm just, I'm just out here, bro. I'm just trying to navigate my way through this jungle. I just have to ask a question. We at YFM also, you know. Yeah. Um, um, you kind of like always out there doing things, you know. Um, what has made you stick here at YFM? I feel that like a lot of you're one of those guys that that could probably have the chance to branch out. What's yeah. made you stick around like all these years? You know, when I joined this brand, I remember in 2010, I was like, I want to spend my 20s here. Yeah. You know, um, I want to immerse myself in my 20s because this platform allows me to just be myself. Throughout the journey, I've had people ring me up and give me offers, but I feel like it's just not going to be me. Like, I can't go to a spot and, for example, I can't talk about things I'm not going through. This place allows me to, to be myself, talk about my journey now that I'm a dad. I came here, you know, as a broke motherfucker. You know what I mean? Now I'm like, I'm a homeowner. Now we're doing things that I absolutely never thought I would be able to achieve. And this brand has allowed me to do all those things. So, um, I think this this platform has allowed me to live up my best 20s mm. you know without even making me feel like there's certain restrictions I have over my head so that's probably one of the reasons why I still stay and why I still sign when the time comes you feel it inside that yo I don't relate to this song who's this when I start asking questions as who are all these kids on my playlist then it's time for me to jump man. how old are you now 29 bro so you got one more year is this a, <laughs> is this a sign are you giving us a sign yo man I'm just, time will tell but but yeah man you told man. everybody that's calling you that like they must call you when you're 30 <laughs> Yo, man, like, let, let's talk, let's talk, but I'm, I'm mean, so happy. It, it, I mean, it's loyalty to the brand, you mm. know, I mean, that's why I, I, it was interesting for me um, to find out what's kept you, mm. because I'm um, out of, I mean, besides the fact that you've been here for longer, out of um, all the YFM DJs, in my opinion, you're the most proactive outside the space. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's important, bro. Like, I feel like it's, it, I can't just be coming on the radio and talking about what's in the net. You know, the kids The kids already have that. You yeah, know, the yeah. kids already know what AKA tweeted yesterday. But if I tell them something that Keenan told me personally, it has different impact. Or if I tell them about something that you told me that's not on the net, it's mm. it's different, you know, because yeah. it means that I have access to their favorite artists. Mm. Uh, also on my side, man, it just makes more sense being on the ground because the content is just more raw. I'm the primary source more than anything else. Everyone else is using social media as a secondary source of information. Gone are the days where people are actually listening to the radio where that's where you hear it first, mm. you know. I come from a generation where radio has always been a primary source, but at the same time, we're fully aware of what's on, the, you know, with TV, mm. we're back in that era, but fully aware of the evolution of everything. Yeah. You know, I still believe I gotta be on the ground, especially if I'm doing a show like The Drive Show. Just rem remind me of your journey right here. Where did you start? My journey commercially, I got my break in Cape Town. Uh, no, KFM. About, yeah. Oh, yeah, why? Oh, I why? Mean, shout out to KFM, <laughs> but you know. We, no, no, no. This started in the Y Academy, bro. That was my only entry point in this place, bro. I had sent demos uh, for the longest of time. So, got in the Y Academy. That was in 2010. Did six months of the program, which was great because it gave me insight of literally how to run a station, if I ever had to think of that, because it gave me access to sales, marketing, and all the other facets of the business. And then I got my first break, which was 12 to 3, Adrenaline Rush. That was on Saturday and Sunday. That was dope because now I had like three hours to curate content and just do things as to how I would like my show to sound like. And then I moved up 9 to 12 on the weekend rush. That was still Saturday and Sunday. I went up to week, weekday. That was 12 to 3. That was the best thing ever. And then now we four hour it yeah. on the drive show. What do you find your listeners literally like gravitate to from just like the youth of how things specifically what do you always go i know this is always going to work or at least i know the engagement is great with this people want inspiration people want to know where to get the jobs bro where the bursaries are at uh how do you do it you know we see you got the car we see you got the business that is popping but when you started the business what are some of the things that you did to take it to the next level 
So that's some of the things that I hear. With the kids, it's like, okay, cool, Savvy, my song is playing on the radio. Slicker has put it on Slicker on Life. What's next? You know what I mean? So that's why we give them New Music Friday, for example, on the show where we give them access to information like why you need a publicist, why recording labels will help you if you don't have anyone part of the team. What is the role of a manager? Because it's just not only the artist itself. Um, now we have features like, you know, uh, thread counts because fashion is booming in the culture, you know. So how do we escalate and, you know, elevate the business itself and by putting information that is sometimes not even available online because in South Africa, you know, it's only a few people that are documenting the culture and documenting information that will help people move forward. You know, like you think of just for hip hop, if it wasn't for Slicker on Life, how many kids would not have got on because you've pretty come through and you've played a role of eliminating the riff raffs that now make it easy for me to listen. Because if kids send me a Slick On Life link, I'll probably listen to the song, mm. then sending me, um, what is the other one? Data Files. Uh, yeah, Data Files, I ain't yeah. got time for that, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, let someone do the other job, then I will listen, and then probably I'll be able to give you decent yeah. feedback, yeah. So um, now you've also decided to drop a song. DJ Sabi. You're about to cap 20 and you literally decide to drop a song when you're about to be an old ass nigga. Nah, bro, when you're never about old. To be 30. Never old. Bro, I've always loved music. The first single I dropped was, it was 2014 with Quiz, a young boy from Benoni, taking it. That didn't do much, but yeah, it was it was still early, that's bro. Why, that's why we don't know. Yeah, you know, but the blog didn't exist. You know, blog didn't exist at that time. Yeah, yeah it didn't exist at that time. Yeah. Even it was it existed, tough. Yeah. Nah, no, that song didn't do much. Yeah. But that was my, that was a starting point, bro. When it comes to this whole music thing, I've always been fascinated by the concept of being able to create music that I hear in my head. Yeah. But I just never knew how to go about doing it. And the more I grew in radio, the more my access to different you know, people came about and started making music, man. Is there gonna be more hip hop songs? I always say, you know, <laughs> it's almost hard. To, I don't, I don't know where to put Se Sebi. I don't know, yeah, what he is. You know, as as as, 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 as are you a hip hop dude? Are you? Uh, I mean, obviously you can't be yeah. hip hop dude on radio, but like, you know, you have to be broader. You know yeah. what I mean? But I'm like, what Sebi? Is Sebi a hip hop dude? What is he? You know? Sebi's a music dude, bro. Um, I'm an Afrobeat guy more than anything else. Yeah, so Tewa is my first stepping stone in a sense of people getting an identity in a sense of the kind of music I want to make. You know, fusing hip hop and Afrobeat together and just coming together with a sound that will allow the music to be a springboard to different parts of the continent and the world as I, as I go to the next dimension of my brand. Um, so Teo is a first start, man. But I also, deep down, I'm loving what these kids are doing with, with, you know, with, with Trap Soul, you know. So I might just also dip into that. But Afrobeat, hip hop, those are the first two in my, in my, in my interest. You know, <coughs> stick on live when I do an interview. It's like when you get into an, uh, a Coca-Cola interview. Yeah. And you go, yeah, you know, that other like Pepsi, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> like now, you're like, you know, I'm an Afrobeat. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> It's like it's like you yeah. had a coke interview saying that you drink Pepsi, but you know, I nah, like, bro. But, but you, you know, when I get thirsty sometimes and there's coke in the fridge, I drink. Nah, it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to lie to you. Like, I'm I'm a big fan of of Afrobeat. I'm a big fan of hip hop music, and if I can put those two together, why not? Mm. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and and tell and and say things that are trying to that are gonna try and make me seem a specific way. You know, and I wouldn't be honest with you. you know, and this is why you myself. got Manu, in, in, like a guy like Manu on on this current journey yeah. to in, on tour, yeah? Yeah, also, it, when I heard Manu rap, bro, it was like, these guys have not heard Manu rap. Mm. You know what I mean? Like all the other singles that he's been putting out there, Nalingi was a great song. So on my side, I was like, okay, cool. We can definitely do something with the singing stuff. But for now, give me, give me a great introduction to the commercial sector with you rapping. And Gigi was just, man, she just broke class when she came through with that verse. I was like, okay, cool. You mad, you angry, excited, mm -hmm. you want this money and hundreds and duffels and oranges. Like, okay, cool, let's go, let's go, why not? One weird question. Mm. Who confirmed the spelling of Toa? It was, it was all of us. You know, we didn't want it, we, we just tell, we didn't say, Hoteola. We said, Tewa. Keeping it north, keeping it south, keeping it everywhere. Was that, is, is that the right spelling? Yeah, it's like when I dropped the single on Gotu, people were like, why is there an H there? You know, I was like, why didn't I let Lingoma and Shukoma spelling? Let Lingoma, Moti and Nanya. 
Okay, so we have established that like um, Sabi had to speak in his life because if he had to write, <laughs> he'd be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Luckily, your words they, there's no yeah. subtitles. Your yeah. videos and all your online content that you create, also. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, because you want to be in the streets. I haven't seen a much, much of that. You know, you kind of yeah. slow down on that. Yeah, no. What What I'm working on right now is a series on chatting to some of my favorite radio DJs. Mm -hmm. So that's something I'm going to be dropping the first episode next week with Mac Chi. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just I'm just trying out different things you know I'm still I'm still going to be dropping interviews with artists and all that kind of stuff but I'm just doing what I love bro you know so if if my zone is there at that point in time I'll put something together and put it out there so that's what the best live TV is all about my journey and interest at that point in time so so like you also had the clothing brand, uh, yeah. you know, and I'm I'm gonna wrap it up because Tough you thing, know bro. you. I just want to find out like what is your day like from the time you wake up, what time you wake up and when do you go to sleep? So what is give me your day like? This is my schedule, my life. My girl wakes up at four o'clock, so I wake up at four. Uh, check my emails, reply to emails. What did your girl do on. waking up at four o'clock? She had next. No, she 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 reads uh, breakfast on Kaya. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Shout out to Brown Eyes one time. Yeah, um, shout you know, out Brown Eyes. <laughs> you know, so she wakes up at four, so obviously I wake up at four, take care of admin, uh, take my morning piss around six, take my son to school, uh, take a young jog. That will probably be around 8.30 for nine. And then my day will probably start around 10.30. But also depends on, on how that day is planned. My days are never the same. Mm. You know, I never have days where the only consistent thing in my day is the radio show. I always have a radio show at 3 o'clock, which means I have to be in studio at 2 o'clock. Mm. But sometimes I have voiceovers at 8, which means I have to take Ori to school a little bit earlier. You know, sometimes I have a shoot, sometimes I have a commercial, which means that I have to be in that country or be in that province, you know. So that's one thing I'm love. I love about my life. Nothing's ever the same, bro. Mm. Nothing. All right, yo, DJ Savvy, you know. I just want to say one thing, though, between me and you. Yes. Yo, you know that closing of yours, Mutewa? Yeah. DJ Savvy. I mean... I never, I never, I never even did that. Savvy. Okay, savvy, cool. Savvy. I can't take you serious. <laughs> I was Why you want to take me serious? I was taking you serious throughout the song, then I heard that DJ Savvy. I was like, nah, this guy can't. So let's just say that's the last time you did like that. Okay. DJ ah, Savvy! Ah, 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 Shout out Nova. Nova did that for me, we man. Can't take you <laughs> and Nova serious. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> Yo, thanks, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Broadcast live.